Hello and welcome to the Honor Chief Experience Offer video for the Honor Magic Book. This is another one in the series about this little ma this little magic book, and as you can see, this is a game being played on the Honor Magic Book at 1080p. The magic book can actually output at 4K, but only at 30 hertz, which I think wouldn't be too good for the purposes of this video. Now. You will see me go for a few magic cuts here because I'll be able to change games on the fly and you don't really want to see that. So let's have a look at how this performs. Now in the performance article I'm posting you'll see about most of this laptop in terms of its design the fact that it is very thin and light and that the battery life is pretty special but one thing that actually works better in video rather than just telling you is the performance in games and this is one of them. Uh, Toybox Turbos, to be fair, is like the old Micro Machines games. In fact, Codemasters actually made a newer game than this called Micro Machines World Tour but it's not as good and it's basically the same. So, oh, and I'm gone. Right, I'm going to change to a different game, but as you can see, total 60F performance and not even really trolling the GPU. Not a bad start. And I will see you in a tick. And we are back and welcome to Rapture for Bioshock Remastered. And as you can see, playing into a camera lens isn't always good, so I'll do it a bit better. There we go. Now, this is Bioshock Remastered, the version that was released not so long ago that tweaked a few things, changed the engine up, and basically brought Bioshock to modern standards. Not that the PC version needed a lot of changes, to be really honest. There we go. And a lot of reviews you've probably seen online for the Magic Book have said, well, it's a good laptop, but not really for gaming. Well, in all honesty, it, it's not that cut and dry. There are plenty of games that work fine with this. And as you can see, Bonk. This is running at more than 60 FPS. It is at decent settings. In fact, I do need to show resolution up a bit. Beep. Let's do that now. Close up guns. And apply. There we go. I was using 1600 by 900 because that was the resolution of the laptop I was comparing to. And actually, yeah, I might put it back down to it because, yeah, oh no, no, it's fine. It was just struggling a little bit there, but. Oh, still, oh, you are still alive and. I don't really want it. There we go. But yeah, as you can see, the game still runs pretty well. It's obviously a classic, it's Bioshock, and one that I fully implore people to play. And I'll obviously play it more when I'm not looking at a screen and making sure the camera's working. But there we go, it's not bad at all. Um, again, the games that I've tested in this device have worked pretty well, I must say. And this is at modern settings. Yeah, you're gonna have a decent time with it. The GPU may be inbuilt, but it's still a Vega Radeon Class 8, which is much better than the 
rival ones by a certain blue manufacturer and yeah it means you can never see the nice narrator's wife or child again apparently well okay I will say this and I will show you another little game and I'll talk a bit more about the other features of the laptop too I will see you in a tick and welcome back and oh well that's not a red start is it Whee! now this is Grid Autosport a game that was released a few years ago for the PC, Xbox 360 and PS3 but has recently seen the light of day again on the Nintendo Switch now this is an interesting game for a couple of reasons first of all it is very much frame rate dependent if you don't get a good frame rate in this game you are in trouble you may as well not play it and in all honesty the game runs pretty exceptionally on this little laptop now considering back in 2013 when this game first came out it definitely didn't run this well on my computer back then so it shows how far these things have come of course grid has had a recent release in the newest grid game but that game I will say originally is a little bit too much for this laptop but then that's expected for a 2019 game now you may if you've got very eagle eyes notice a small counter up at the top right now this shows battery life remaining and in all honesty it yeah it, it shocked me a bit because this shown just how much of a difference between this and the Dell Inspiron 17 which I was comparing this laptop to as my old laptop from this one because on the Inspiron it was telling me I had around 30 minutes of life in this game and that is well pretty shocking to say the least in this well as you can see hopefully you can see it still has one hour 31 left and that's after playing those other two games and using the laptop for a few other things earlier on so the laptop has about 70% battery and it still gives you a good couple hours of gaming at full pelt which is not easy on the thing because these laptops are designed for yeah, educational use, it's designed for universities and for productivity. Gaming uses a lot more power than these things are really designed to do, yet it still copes admirably. And the game, well, isn't bad. And please excuse the fact that I'm not playing very well. I have a Driving Force GT which I use for grid auto support normally. And I don't normally play with a pad, so many apologies for the bad play, but there we go. But you can more than see the good bits though, which is the actual, is that got things on it shouldn't do, 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 do controls, there we go. Oh, it's going to ABS. Oh. It wouldn't let me accelerate through the corner. It's weird. Anyway, um, there we go. It's fine now. But yeah, again, while I'm playing, I will may as well show few more things off here. Again this is playing straight off the laptop to the my Samsung TV screen. Now it can do Miracast at 1080p however it does it 30fps which again not really good for the purposes of this video but more than fine for other uses. Um, it is pretty bang on as well with not a lot of lag when you're using Miracast which again I wouldn't recommend it for gaming but for other uses great I mean it means you can cast your videos to the big screen from a PC with 
you know, no lag whatsoever. It is not bad at all. Now, I'm going to switch to another game and finish off, I think. Now, that darn ghost of myself being better than me before, I will beat you again another time. We'll see you soon. Right, hello and welcome to the last part of my video and to the Ballad of Gay Tony. This is one of the expansion sets for Grand Theft Auto 4, one of the most notorious PC ports for being very, very CPU intensive and GPU intensive and runs pretty well. It's not, you know, the highest FPS I've ever seen, but it still works really well and runs better than it certainly did on the consoles back in the day. Again, the game looks really good and for a game that is not exactly known for being kind to computers, it is doing pretty well. I honestly think this laptop for gaming and for the performances, well, is not too bad at all. And as you can see, it's not bad at all. So I'm going to just walk around and hang out while explaining the last part of the laptop. And yeah, again, 550, 550 pounds gets you this performance. It gets you a 14 inch 1080p screen. It gets you Magic Link, which for on a phone owners with Magic UI 2.1 or above means that you can cast directly to the, from the phone to the laptop without any lag whatsoever and I do mean that when I say that um, I have tested it it can do so using NFC so you don't need to worry about wires or any other sort of syncing and allows for the phone to sync and back up your data in literally seconds it is that quick um, as well as that the fingerprint reader for the price class is very fast it's very accurate and puts a no layer of security on the device which I must admit I wasn't expecting for the price of it um, as well as that I'm gonna put this down this control down so I can talk properly um, as well as that the battery life has been exactly as expected I have got a full 10 hours while using the laptop as a normal laptop for streaming for um, typing up reviews and stuff it's been absolutely perfect on that regard it plays games really well it is fast at booting it's fast at everything it does and in honesty has made the Dell Inspiron 117 look really poor in every regard um, it the Dell was meant to be a desktop replacement and the GPU was its centre point, uh, a GeForce 840M, but in all honesty, still has been outclassed by an integrated GPU which shares the TDP with the CPU, whereas that had its own and it's still been outperformed. Finally, yeah, um, I would like to thank Honor for the opportunity to be one of their chief experience officers. I will thank you all for taking part in watching my videos and I hope to see you again for the Honor 9X Pro which I have right around here somewhere. It's gone under yes. Oh there we are. Hello alright. I will just grab that in front of you. There we go. Boing! Say hello! There we go. That is the Honor 9X Pro. That is gonna be the next subject of my next video and I would like to introduce that to the UK where it will be released hopefully in the next couple of weeks and has been coming out to the lucky people who have been chosen to review the device for the honor community myself included so I will leave you with that little preview and speak to you again bye bye